Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about 10 different makeup tips that will hopefully help you to keep your makeup on for longer and make it look more beautiful and more flawless and just like some overall tips that I think about throughout the day that I want to share with you. So I hope that you guys find this helpful and enjoyable and let's get started. The first tip is to re-blend your foundation a few hours after you've applied it. So say you've been at work all day and you're going out at night, then just spray some Fix Plus on your face or any type of like face mist, but this is one that I really like. And then I just take my foundation brush and literally just buff the foundation back into the skin. It gets oily and things happen to the makeup, so it's really important to just sort of re-blend and you can get that nice flawless even look again. And then just put some powder on top redefine your um, blush and you're good to go. Tip number two is to carry around some q-tips in your makeup bag. These are really good for removing um, mascara buildup or eyeliner buildup that happen in the corner of your eye and it doesn't look good when you have that like black thing in your eye so just keep a q-tip and you can easily scoop that out. These are also really good for removing any um, crease marks that happen from your concealer and they're super sanitary you just use them once and throw them out tip number three is to really prep your face when you do your makeup i always like to use a primer if i'm going to be wearing my makeup for a long time i find that when i use a primer i get less oily and um, less like Creasy. These are a few of my favorite ones. If you guys want to know the exact names or everything, it'll be down in the description box. The next tip is to apply your foundation in natural sunlight. It's happened to me so many times. You buy a foundation and you put it on at home, you step outside and it either looks way too gray, way too pink, um, way too yellow. It's so important because if you wear a foundation that is um, not the right color, it's almost worse than not wearing a foundation. Number five, avoid touching your face throughout the day. It's one of my biggest like pet peeves, I think, when I see people touching their face because it's like, you know, they have all the germs on their, on their um, fingers and you put it on your face and it's just not good. It causes breakouts and um, when you touch your face, it makes it more oily. And if you do happen to touch your face when you're doing your makeup, just make sure to um, buff those finger marks out so that you don't have like blotchy skin. Tip number six, this is for all my ladies who have um, combination to oily to very oily skin. I have an oily T-zone. Before I, you know, pack on the blot powder, I always make sure to soak up the oil that I can with a tissue paper first and then put your blot powder because if you put blot powder on top of the oil it'll just look super super cakey and I find that when I remove the oil first with the tissue then put the blot powder it looks much more flawless and it lasts a lot longer. So if you want to wear a um, red lipstick try to always find one that has a bluish undertone and it'll make your teeth look super super white. I will leave a few of my favorite um, red lipsticks that have a blue undertone down below in the description box if you want to check those out. And then speaking of white teeth, I love using um, the Crest 3D white strips to whiten my teeth. They do a really good job of making them look nice and white and shiny. So use those if you um, tend to drink a lot of coffee or tea. Tip number eight, nude lips. If you're trying to find a nude lipstick, definitely try to get a, a nude lipstick that matches with your skin tone. Something that I see a lot is this nude lip that's like really, really pale. And I think it kind of does the opposite effect of making you look beautiful. Choose one that is your skin color already under your lips and it'll look beautiful. My favorite nude lip combo of the moment is this Ferris Nude Lipstick by L'Oreal, which I've spoken about before. I love, 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 love this lipstick. And this new lip gloss that I recently got from NARS, which is called um, Pierre. It's what I'm wearing right now, and I love it. Tip number nine is to use a color on your lower lash line. I love putting um, like purple under my eyes to really bring out the hazel and brown in my eyes and it can really make your eyes pop. Such an easy thing to do, it doesn't take a lot of effort, so if ever I want to glam up my eyes but I don't want to go through the whole, you know, prime around the lids and an eyeshadow and a crease color and na 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 na, then I just put a color under my eyes like a purple or blue or even like bronze would work or even green and um, it'll completely freshen up your face and it'll bring out your eye color. And number 10 is to never underestimate the power of a beautiful highlight. I just adore glowing, um, yummy, soft skin. There's 
two that I really like that I've spoken about um, before. One of my all-time favorite ones is Whisper of Guilt, which is an extra dimension skin finish by MAC. And it's just so freaking gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing today. And it just gives the prettiest like glow and dewiness to your face. Highlighter is just beautiful and I would recommend it for any skin type. Even if you have oily skin, powder down you know, your whole face and then just put it on your um, like a C shape over here, center of your nose, a little bit on your cupid's bow and it'll look beautiful, especially for the spring and summertime. The last tip, which is actually tip number 11, it is to smile and be happy and be positive. You can be the most beautiful person, you can have the most banging makeup, the most flawless face, but if you're not a happy or not a good person, then none of that is really gonna make a difference. If you don't have any makeup on, if your face is looking a mess, you smile, you will look beautiful. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.